The six keys to internet business success. There's a lot of advice out there on how you can make your internet business successful, and I noticed that most of the advice that's out there is philosophical or theoretical. They're not really that easy to apply, or they're not steps that you can easily relate to your business. In order to make your internet business a success, all you need are six things. These keys are concrete, applicable skills and knowledge that you need in order to get your business off the ground. Once you have these keys, you'll find it easier to manage your business and help it grow. Point one Educate yourself. I don't mean educate yourself in school. A lot of the information you need for this type of business is online and you won't get that knowledge in school. So, what do you need to do in order to educate yourself? Read a bunch, read good ebooks, good blogs, good articles. Get as much good information so you'll know exactly what you need to do in your business and how to do it. Point two. Apply what you've learned to see if it works and follow through with it. In order to truly understand what you've learned, you have to apply that knowledge. You have to check out if it works and see if it fits your business. And you have to follow through the entire process. I admit, I'm usually motivated when I start projects and lose interest later on. But I do make it a point to see through it at least once so I know and understand what I'm doing. Once you know what needs to be done, you can just outsource the rest of the things you don't want to do to someone else. The point is you have to know what needs to be done, you have to know enough to be able to teach the tasks, and you should know whether these tasks are done correctly or not. Point 3. Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't try to be the next Facebook. Unless you're a genius, there's no point in doing something that you're not sure would succeed. Study successful strategies or formulas or look for a successful mentor and learn how he did it. Always remember that a smart man learns from his mistakes while a wise man learns from the mistakes of others and avoids them. Point 4. Don't follow blindly. This step is related to the previous step. Although I encourage you to use strategies that have proven to be successful, don't follow blindly. You have to understand what you're doing and see if it applies to your business, to your experience. What works for others may not work for you because certain factors may not have been taken into account like education, experience, skills, etc. If you can't see the process with the goal in mind, then don't do it. Use what you understand and what you know would work for you. Point 5. Learn how to make sales. This is the most important skill that you have to learn and probably the single most important advice that I can give you. That's because learning how to sell almost ensures your success and will pay you back a hundredfold once you know how to do it correctly. Robert Kiyosaki said that in giving advice to new business owners he would tell them to join an MLM marketing group because they teach you how to sell. When I was reading his book I remember thinking, nah, I'm not interested in learning how to sell. I don't really want to sell. But he goes on in his book explaining that regardless of whether you hire salespeople or not, you're always selling. You're selling yourself, your product, your service, your site so you have to learn how to sell, and he's right. You're always selling, online or offline, and if you want to succeed, you have to learn how to sell. Learning how to sell isn't as hard as you think. Read copywriting information, sales information, read about neurolinguistic programming. Figure out how to get into people's heads and make them want to buy your product. Give them a reason to buy your product. It won't matter if you have a great product if you don't know how to sell, disclaimer. I'm not saying that it doesn't matter whether you have a good product or not as long as you know how to sell. Always offer great products and services to your customers. You may be able to sell crappy products, but your business is going because you won't be able to deliver what your customers really want. Point 6. Learn the technical aspects of the business. This advice is quite controversial because there are people who have achieved success regardless of not having any technical or working knowledge of the business. But you have to understand that this is a technical business and if you don't understand the internet, you won't be able to completely understand your business. I graduated computer science and having technical knowledge has helped understand how this business works and why some things work and some don't. I know it's unfair because of my background, but you don't need to be a technical whiz to learn the technical aspects. However, you have to be willing to learn the technicalities behind this business, 
you can start with the simple stuff. Learn HTML or WordPress or how emailers work. I'm not saying you won't succeed with this stuff, because you still can, but knowing some of this stuff makes the business easier to run. And when our business is easier to run, it's easier to focus on your business and work on making it successful.